Well, this side of the sign says, now is the time to invest in eternity. Now let's look and see. Evidently, time is on this man's mind, or ever who put this up there. This is about time too. You are never too old to begin anew. And the only time there ever is, is now. I'd added that right at the back bottom. Because most people are living in a past where somebody did them wrong or did them dirty and they can't let go. So they, they don't know that they're stifling their own ability to enjoy eternity now. It's a present. And they want to tell you that the eternity, eternity that they're talking about is after this physical body dies. But there's a whole big old gap if they don't tell you the truth about who you are and what you are and where you're going. And see, most people don't even know who they really are. They believe that they're their story. They believe they're their body. And they believe that in the afterlife, we'll bring this body through the grave. And I'm here to tell you that we are already eternalized in the precious sight of our Father, Mother, God. Now, people get mad when I say Mother, God, Father, God, Mother, God. They don't know what I'm talking about. And I don't, I really actually don't either. I just like the way it rolls off my tongue. Because the God that they show us that could be mad and make war all the time, he needs to learn how to begin anew and start with educating the world. Now, there must be a reason that they don't want to educate the world on peace and love because it's not profitable in a lot of ways. And I won't go off into all the ways that it's not profitable. I'll just tell you that that's the reason we're in the mess that we are. And if you don't think we're in a mess, I don't know. I ain't watching news in, 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 in a long time. <laughs> it's been a long time. I couldn't watch it when I was in Jamaica. You know, I didn't even want to try. And I don't even want to try now. I get a little tidbit of what's kind of going on from people and the internet a little bit. And God, dog, or go to talking about the internet, I'm going to get, I'm going to get really bad because I, I got living proof. I'm shadow banned. And I don't, they say, they even sent me a letter and said it's not because of my religion or the way I perceive politics. I thought that was mighty nice of them. But what they've done is, since I come back from Jamaica, all of my, all of my numbers are down. My views, my likes, my subscribes, my comments, everything is down. Before, I was on a huge rise and, you know, in the, in the uptick of the analytics. I mean, I, some days I was getting 30,000 views a day. Now I'm back down to maybe getting 700 views a day, 1,000 views a day. As I'm talking, I'm going to insert some graphics that show you in real time over the last week, week and a half since I've been home from Jamaica. I came home the 23rd. As soon as I left Jamaica, they already knew and they started shadow banding me. I don't know why they can't shadow ban me in Jamaica, but everybody was seeing my top videos and they were growing leaps and bounds. I mean, I couldn't even keep up with the comments in my most popular videos. And all of my videos are as a whole. And I was getting thousands and thousands of new subscribers during the time I was there. I remember when I hit 16,000, it wasn't very long after that, I hit 17,000. Now I'm lucky to get at the most four new subscribers a day. Well, I was getting 120 new subscribers a day. That's called shadow banded, and that's called not right. I don't have a big message to tell people. All I got to do is tell them the truth. If YouTube and Facebook and all these people don't want to hear the truth, then we're in a world of hurt if we ain't got more people like me that says things that make sense to fixing problems. God dang it, we don't need no politicians. We need technicians. I think we got one in the White House if he could just start telling the truth a little bit better than what he's even telling. But even he's controlled. There's entities above him in the deep state 
in the so-called Illuminati. That'd, that'd get this video taken down if I go talking too much about them. Y'all don't think they real. Keep going to church and keep letting this preacher or any preacher tell you how to get to eternity. Because I'm here to tell you that eternity is now. This is the only damn body you got. This is the only damn time you got. Why waste it in the past or planning for a future that could possibly put you in a world of debt and make you a bigger slave for the system to just pull your, jerk your chain around. Come here. Come there. Buy this. Stop there. Talk to them. Evolve in striving in time. Well, you don't have to strive in time, people, because eternity is now. If I'm wrong about it, I'll be the first to tell you I'm wrong. But I know in my life that I was living in the past for most of my life and regretting things. I don't regret anything now. I know everything happens for a reason. So I ain't got the final word on these signs except to tell you this. You're never too old to start speaking life to your DNA, your cells, your mitochondria cells. You're never too old to start waking up the Christ within. Hey, she's just getting it. Okay, back to this. You're never too old to understand truth. You're never too old to ask good questions. You're never too old to listen to something that's within inside you that will lead you and guide you and come out of whatever people are trying to tell you their way of being is because these Baptist folks and these Church of Christ folks, all they know is what they've been told in their doctrine. And if anybody comes against them, they excommunicate them from church. Don't tell me they don't, because I know they do. All right. I'm jumping way off the subject, so I got to go. <laughs> hey, don't let me make you mad. Don't, all I want to do is make you think. And Facebook and YouTube and people like that, just keep watching what they're doing. And, and they, there's a type of person that they're trying to shut down. And I must be one of them because they on my they on my bad list now because they sure are messing with my numbers. And I don't care that I'm, I'm not making money off of, off of what they do. I'm going to make videos because I want to. It's free speech. And if you don't like free speech, then I don't know what to think about you. Who, who in the hell don't like free speech?